Hey guys, what's up? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use any camera. That's literally any camera. There's no restrictions. Uh, no, it doesn't have to be a Sony camera. It doesn't have to be a camera that connects via FireWire. Any camera whatsoever to use as a webcam for your uh, for your Mac or PC. So uh, let's get started. Right, things you'll need. First, you'll need a camera. I'm doing this with my really like six year old, or actually it's probably like eight years old. Um, what is it? Qua uh, Quasar. I don't know if that's how you say it. Camera. <coughs> it doesn't have to be a video camera though. It can be a digital camera. Uh, so it can be any camera. Just keep that in mind. Next thing you're going to need is a capture device. If you don't have one, I recommend Easy Cam. It might be quick. No, it, I think it's called Quick Cap or something like that. Search search the whereabouts of that on eBay. It's around $20. What it's going to be is one side is going to have a USB and an audio. And on the other side, it's going to have an S video and the three uh, ports that you would see on the back of a TV. Next thing you're going to need is a computer, obviously. Finally, you're going to want debut video capture software it's a free download uh, it's that blue one up there I'm going to show you how to get it really quickly all you have to do is open your internet browser then search download debut I'll probably have the link in the description so you can just go check that out over there um, download debut video Tab share. And then here it is. Uh, by the way, this computer is running with the Windows 7 Beta Build 7000. Uh, then you just click download now, right, th right over here, where my mouse is. All right. Lastly, you're going to want to install the drivers. Well, I guess this is the first step. You're going to want to install the drivers to your. Um, to your capture device. In this uh, case, I am using the USB VC211A capture device. Um, on Mac, you would have to most likely buy a Dazzle, which costs around 60 bucks. Um, on Windows, you can get a lot cheaper options, which is why I'm using Windows uh, in this video. Because this was only, well, actually, my friend uh, traded it for me for a game, so kind of got it for free basically um so yeah you're going to want to install the drivers for your capture device after that's done you want to plug your capture device into your computer by plugging the usb uh, into a usb hub or a usb in the back of your computer uh, then what you want to do is you want to plug this into the this into the microphone jack on your computer I won't be able to show you this, but there most likely is a headphone jack on your computer, and then there's a microphone jack, and they'll be right next to each other. You don't want to plug it into the headphone one, you want to plug it into the microphone one. Alright, I just got that done. Alright, then what you want to do, I kind of forgot to include this in what you need, but you should have it because it comes with your camera. Um, you want the cable that connects your camera to the TV to display what's on the camera on the TV. And what you want to do is put the port that goes into your camera into your camera, obviously. This port is just the AC for my camera. You just want to plug that in right there. And then this, where it would normally go into your TV, you want to plug it in to the capture device. So yellow and yellow and white and white and the wet, the red and the S video aren't going to matter in this instance you might want them but they it's not important for me All right then you want to turn your camera on just make sure it's uh, testing out good and stuff so I'm going to turn it on flip it to camera mode and it seems to be displaying what's behind it so that is all set for that portion of the video. Right, then you want to open debut capture software. And it'll open. And up top in the file menu, I don't know if you can see this that well, you want to go to options. And 
and then here I'll bring it over on this screen so it's easier for you to see and then you want to where it says video device you drop down the menu and you want uh, that's my webcam uh, that is the virtual webcam which is that's just a program I installed don't worry about that you want to find the uh, capture device that you have. So if you have the Dazzle, it'll say Dazzle right here. If you have a GameBridge, it'll say GameBridge. Mine's called the USB 2820, or also it's called um, VC2118. It has two names. So I'm going to do that. Press OK. And now what you'll have is a display of whatever is on your camera on your computer. So as you can see, I'm using my camera here and it's displaying whatever I show on my camera. Um, if you can see this, I'll like point the camera at these rock band drums. See the rock band drums? Now I'm pointing the camera at them. I'll hold it there. And then on my computer there's the rock band drums with me moving it around. I'll point it at the uh, at me doing this video and then as you can see that's the camera I'm using right now uh, to record this video and then there's me so this is how to get any camera to be used as a webcam thanks for watching